Welcome to another service video from Alberta Laundry Systems. Today we're going to be talking about hooking up liquid supply to a crossover washer. First, ensure that the power is shut off to the washer. And afterwards, you're going to remove the two security Torx bits located on the top of the panel. And to remove the top panel, simply push back until there's a gap at the front and lift up. Inside the drum of the crossover, there should be a liquid supply kit, which contains a wiring harness, three elbows for the soap, and a sticky. In order to run the chemical through the machine, you'll need to drill out the holes located on the back underneath the valves. Insert the chemical tube and run it up to the soap box. The soap box is marked with bleach, softener, and detergent for the corresponding chemicals. You'll insert the elbow into the tubing and ensure that you either zip tie or put a small clamp around it. Afterwards, you'll drill out the corresponding hole on the soap box and insert the elbow into that. After you've hooked up your chemicals to the soap box, the next step is to take the wiring harness and plug it into the inverter. One side of the harness has loose wires and the other has a purple clip. You're going to take the loose wires and put it through a stress relief that you will need to purchase yourself and it will exit the machine through the hole on the back. The other end of the cabling will need to be plugged into the inverter. It's a purple slot on the top left hand side of the inverter and you'll know it's in when you hear it clip and you can no longer pull it out. The next step applies to the chemical representative and this is for installing the harness into their soap dispenser box. It's important to note that the red wire is for the pre-wash signal, the black wire is for a main wash, the brown wire is for the third rinse signal, and the blue wires are commons. Thanks for watching and always feel free to call or email us with any questions.